Hello. Today we'll discuss on the leveling effect of water and differentiating effect. As we know that water let's say you have a HCl it is a very strong acid and you have a sodium hydroxide it is a strong acid and strong base so when this strong acid and strong base undergo reaction in the water it completely dissociate to give a hydronium ion with the release of this Cl similarly in base also when base like a sodium hydroxide dissolve in water it form a hydronium ion so this water water acts as a leveling effect because it completely dissociate this water with the help of this water solvent the acid is completely dissociate because it releases a proton and accept a proton so this water is a by nature this water acts as a protogenic and protophilic solvent this protophilic means it can accept a proton and water can also act as a protogenic activities since you know that water has a water water this water is a self ionized self ionization water is a self ionization when water is dissolved it give H plus and this OH will release right so this when this H2O undergo reaction with this H in the water since you have a this two lone pairs one lone pair is present so this will go and pick up another water in the water molecules there's another water molecules is present so it will go and pick up this proton it release proton and it also pick up the proton right so it give H3O plus hydronium ion will release so the overall reaction will be this this has been released and it has been consumed so it we get this we, what is the remaining so two molecules of water H2O and H3O plus plus OH this will be minus so this is a cation property self analysis and this is a anion so this is a simple concept the water acts as a leveling effect it can act as a protophilic and protogenic solvent because it can release it can release both proton and accept proton water water can undergo self ionization so the leveling effect of water is because water can make us possible to completely dissociate the both the hard uh, strong acid and strong base so suppose if you have if you undergo some example like if you have a hydrogen fluoride when undergo with the water H2O you will get this hydrogen will go and pick up right H3O plus N it will give F minus similarly if you undergo HCl plus H2O you will get H3O plus fluorine is there fluorine minus similarly in if you undergo hydrogen bromide plus H2O the same compound you will get H3O plus PR minus you will get so these are some some of the examples when the water 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 can behave as a 
this water has a leveling effect. It, it makes us possible to dissociate the strong acid and strong base. So this is uh, all about your leveling effect. But when you see, uh, if you have a, suppose a different setting effect, different setting effect. Suppose you have H, HF hydrogen fluoride, you have HCl hydrogen fluoride, you have hydrogen bromide or hydrogen iodide. So, this differentiating effect can be seen in oxalic acid, oxalic acid and acetic acid, acetic acid. Since you know that oxalic acid is acetic acid is CH3, COOH, this is acetic acid and oxalic acid is COOH, another COOH is present. So when this react, when this any of the compounds, let's say acetic acid, when you react acetic acid with a fluoride chloride, hydrogen fluoride and hydrogen bromide, when you react with this acetic acid, you won't get a same product. You will get you will get for this you will get the product will be CH3 COOF and with the release of two molecules of the product will be since this it this acetic acid will release the hydrogen hydrogen ion and the negative ion will be give negative charge will give and it will go and accept this this fluoride so ch ch3 coof you will get with the release of h2 similarly for this also ch3 coo here Chlorine will be formed with the release of H2. Here also, CH3, COO, PR, CH3, COO, iodine, plus H2. So, for differentiating effect, if e the same product do not give but uh, you give a it give a different effect of the reaction unlike the leveling effect in, in leveling effect the water can give a complete dissociating effect of the both the acid and base strong acid and base but in differentiating effect you won't see such kinds of activities it give a different reaction it give a dif different activities of reaction like if you are using acetic acid with hydrogen fluoride it give the this compound and here also the chlorine bromine iodine it will go reaction so the order of the reaction is because this hydrogen fluoride one HCl HPR hydrogen iodide so this this is the order of the reaction hydrogen fluoride will be the much effect and chlorine, bromine and iodine. So this is a leveling of uh, differentiating effect of your uh, series. It can be seen in oxalic acid or acetic acid. So this is all about your leveling effect and the differentiating effect. If you have any doubt we can discuss in the upcoming video. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Thank mm -hmm. you.